Hello, everybody. It's iPod Apps Universe again, once again, once again. Okay, today we are reviewing our second game ever on our new channel, which will be Pool Stars. I gotta say, this is easily the best pool game there is on the iPod. The only downfall is that multiplayer, it is really difficult to find people online. I don't know why. I just don't know why. It has the nicest graphics ever. And it's really easy to use. The physics are perfect. I just love it. Featuring Earl Strickland. This guy. Yeah. He looks mad. Why does he look so angry? He's talking to you. That's right, you. Play my game. That's what he's saying. Okay. Here's the menu. It's very nice and sleek. Got play mode, it's quick play, uh, records, keeps track of your records, I'm guessing. Yep. Oh, you can save your replays too, that's pretty cool. Got options. You can edit your profile, your language. Pretty simple stuff about. What's the about about? It's about the company. Website links, copyright, all that, blah, blah, blah. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's really neat. It has a nice save mode where you could just leave off your game, come back two days later. You'll be in the exact spot you were in the last tournament with all the balls in the same place. It is pretty neat. Very nice graphics. It also has bonus games, which are really neat. Oh, shoot. Anyway, you can play trick games. I think there's about eight levels. I may be wrong on that, but they set up balls in fancy patterns. You gotta shoot the cue ball around them, or hit one ball, make another ball go in a hole. It's really cool. It's just like TV. It's awesome. Okay, let's start a new game here. Uh, let's see. Multiplayer. Yeah, you can play online. It's just when you go into search, there's like nobody there really sucks because this game is so addicting and it's beautiful. Uh, let's start a new game. Let's start a new game, shall we? Start a new game. Yes. Okay. Got eight ball rules for US, the UK. You got nine balls straight. I'm a fan of nine ball because I used to play pool tournaments back when I was a little younger. But we'll go into eight ball USA. You can customize your own character, but they only give you certain pictures. You can't actually upload your own picture of you into the game. You have to choose from a certain amount, and you can use them, yeah. And you can go into a career mode. It's pretty awesome. Who do I want to play against? Let's play. Oh, there's only three you can choose from. Play against her. Checkmark! Look at that! Look how beautiful that is! That's exactly like it is on TV. Beautiful! I love it! Player has won the toss and will break first. So they're breaking first. Your player. Okay. There's your cue ball. You can slide it around, but only behind the line. Regular eight ball rules. I'm gonna go in my spot where I usually go. And you press the check mark. And it's pretty easy. You push and hold it, slide it left, slide it right. If you pull it back, you zoom out, it goes into like a bird's eye view. Or you can push it up, go into the first person view. It's pretty awesome. Look at that crowd. How realistic this game is. Why aren't people playing online? I think there should be more people online. Okay, what was I going to say? Completely forgot. Okay, here's your power meter. Push it up. I don't know if you can see it. See this little triangle that shows up? That's your power. Closer to the top, the weaker the shot. Obviously, if you pull it back, it's like pulling the cue back. The harder the shot. If you click the cue ball in the top left, it'll bring this little dot and you can move it around. Change the angle. If you want some backspin, you can put it down all the way. If you want some forward, you put it all the way to the top. Usually when I break, I put it right about there. This white line shows you where the cue ball is going to deflect afterwards. 
after it hits the the rack of balls there. So I'm gonna go about there, and when you're ready, you push this little button here to shoot the ball. Shoot. Here we go. Fortunately, I have first gen iPod. I didn't really know there was gonna be a second gen third gen that released a little volume control here and had a speaker on the exterior, unfortunately, but I do have a lot of memory in this sucker. 16 GB. And if I just want sound, I'll just plug in headphones and see if that easy. Don't really know sounds. You can just like picture exactly what it sound like. Clack, 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 clack. What? The game ended there already? Man. Anyway. Here. I want to get some control over this. Hurry up. Hurry up. Okay. It's got this kind of like 3D camera thing going around here and then once if you say I want to aim at this ball way down here there will be a little green arrow there at the tip. See how the camera moves? It'll show you exactly I don't know if you can see it right there. Show you where it's going to be. If you want to extend you can bring this back more and it usually tends to grow but other than that it'll show you where it's going to go. So it's going to go into that hole, and the camera will adjust for you. Or you can click this little camera in the top right corner here and push it, and it goes into a bird's eye view, and you can move around. You know, it's really up to you. It's your preference. I'll just do that one. That's all lined up. I'll press shoot. Go in the hole. There we go. Anyway, let's get out of here. Main menu. Main menu. Okay. Did you like my game? Oh, I loved your game. This game is so addicting. I just love it. It's probably one of my favorite games that I have on my iPod. Just I'm really big into pool. I've been loving that game ever since I was little. Not this game, but you know, billiards, pool. I love it. And plus, if you play this game a lot, like almost every day in a week and then you go to a bar or to a pool hall and you start playing pool against your friends you will just notice your skill how much it increased by just like judging the angles of the balls and everything you'll just be amazed at how good this game can make you at pool I love it my overall rating for it out of 10 I'd probably give it hmm I would say an 8.5 out of 10. Yeah, that's probably a... Yeah, that's fair. Fortunately, I had to dock marks or points. Marks was the school? We're not in school. We're on YouTube. Yeah. If you could play multiplayer with a lot of people online, but unfortunately there's no one online, I'd probably give it a 9 or 9.5, but yeah. You get the just... Anyway... Thanks again, you guys, for tuning in to iPod Apps Universe. I'll see you guys next time. Please comment, rate, and subscribe below. And um, leave a comment what you'd like me to review, and I'll review it next time. And please leave your your um, username for YouTube, and I will give you a shout-out on the next video. Thanks a lot. See you later.